Hey, hello guys. So today we are going to see how you can convert a, convert your Python script to a executable Windows installer file. That is the file with the common extension .exe. And for this, there's a common way which is to use this pyinstaller command using the dash f or double dash one file flag. But uh, even though this creates a single executable file, the problem is that uh, that file which uh, pyinstaller creates will really will take a really long time to start up because uh, uh, since all files are packed into that single file it's gonna you the that file actually needs to unpack all the link libraries and the other dependencies to a temporary folder before actually executing your code in that file so even printing a simple hello world is gonna take like 10 seconds so today we are going to uh, look at a different approach to solve this problem and also get a single executable file First, we'll begin by using pyinstaller, but we won't use uh, that single file command or that flag. So, uh, in the directory at which your Python script is present, uh, you can launch the command prompt there. And then, uh, you will type this command, uh, which is the usual pyinstaller command to create exe files. But we won't be using that uh, single file flag. And uh, since my uh, Python script is a, uh, is a, is, is a GUI file, uh, with a graphical user interface, I, I'll use this uh, W flag to indicate that I don't need a console. And then uh, I I also have an icon over here, but for now I'm not going to use the icon. And then uh, we'll type my script name, which is main.py. So this should create a list of files associated uh, with our script. And uh, this is assuming that uh, you have PyInstaller installed in your PC. If not, you can use uh, install PyInstaller using the simple command uh, pip install PyInstaller. Oops, pip install right. Sorry, uh, in some thought I typed uh, simple because it was a really simple command. Okay, so I already have this pi installer, but in case you do not have pi installer, you can install using this command pip install pi installer. So now that uh, we'll be having our file inside this uh, dist folder, inside the and this file will be the this file's name will be the same as your script name, which is in this which in this case is main. So inside this, you can uh, get this uh, single executable file. But the problem is that uh, this won't work independently without all these associated files. So somehow we need to compile all these files and still uh, get a single executable file. Uh, this file uh, will actually load pretty fast, but in case if you had used this uh, a single file flag to create a, a single executable file with PyInstaller, that would take a really long time to start. So now we'll look at how we can compile all these files into a single executable installer file. That is, we'll be using a Windows installer-like program so that we can install that program in, in our computer and like say we can create a shortcut in our desktop for this uh, main executable file so that uh, we can just when we click that shortcut it will launch this main executable file and uh, our program will also launch pretty fast so for that we need uh, this program called inno setup compiler you can search for this online and uh, uh, you you can go to this website I'll, give a link to this website in the description below then we go for the download section and then I really I download this uh, file from you can download from any server you want I'll download from this uh, link so after you got this file uh, it's a it's a exe file so it's gonna install like any other program uh, so you need to install this program and after installing this program uh, you can start that program so after you start, after you install and open this program, it's gonna give a screen like this. You can just click cancel and then go to file and new. And then you can click on next. Here you can give a name to your program. For now, I'll call it tasks. And uh, you can set a you can set the version of your program. And you can set the publisher name or your name. And in case uh, you have any linked website to your uh, script, you can uh, give that pro so give that URL over here, and then we can move on. And uh, you can uh, leave these options to default. It's actually uh, the folder at which your uh, your file is gonna be executed. Sorry, your file is gonna get uh, unzipped or extracted. It's uh, by default the program files folder in the C drive. 
you can just leave it uh, to default and now we need to select the main executable file of our program uh, which in this case is this guy right here main.exe so we need to choose him you can uh, give browse and choose this uh, main.exe or whichever whatever name you you got uh, you have saved for your program so i'll choose this main.exe the icons are a bit different I think it's because uh, due to icon cache, Windows has cached icon over there, but the real icon is this guy. So you choose this main, you choose this main executable file from this uh, distribution folder, and then uh, we need to add this main file uh, to this uh, uh, application. So you 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 click you should click on add folder, and then choose that specific folder which uh, this specific folder uh, the folder with the name. Uh, which will be the same as the name as your uh, script. So in this case, since my script is called main.py, uh, ne I need to select this main folder from here. So it's in D drive. So I'll choose file and distribution. And then I'll choose this main folder. And then I need to include all the subfolders. So, so I'll click yes now. And then you can move on to the next. Uh, you can, uh, this is for file association. For my script, uh, my script does not have any file associations with the uh, extension so I'll, I'll uncheck this and move on to the next one this is uh, creating shortcuts so you can allow the user to create a desktop shortcut desktop shortcut as well as a shortcut in the start menu and then we'll move on to the next step in case you have any licenses you can choose over here I'll, I don't have any and uh, this is for administrative install installs it for the all the users uh, using that uh, specific computer if you need to install only for that specific user uh, which is who is currently logged on you can choose this option we'll go with administrative install and then you can choose your language and this is the ex installer uh, main now we need to choose where our installer file uh, is gonna uh, get outputted so i'll choose my desktop over here and then you can give a name to the setup file it's gonna be an installer file the dot exe file so i'll say task setup uh, see, remember this is not the main file for your program this is gonna uh, be the file which is gonna install it for in your computer so and in ki in, in case you have an icon you can choose it uh, now so i'll choose that icon which i add over there and then uh, we can you if you want you can set a password for your installation then we'll, we'll move on and then you can just leave this to default and uh, this should uh, now you can compile that script you can click on now for this so it's now compiling all those files into a single installer file so now it has compiled that uh, all these all those files into a single executable windows installer file now we will be now since we saved it in our desktop we'll be having so here is our setup file uh, this is like any other normal uh, windows installer file you can just click on it to install that uh, your install your program uh, you can change where you want your program to be installed uh, i'll leave it to default and i want a desktop shortcut okay so we are installing our uh, python script as a windows program with dot exe file so we are done with it so here is our program i didn't uh, set any icon to my program if you want you can set it using uh, while you are using that uh, pi installer command line uh, option so i launch my program okay so yeah it was pretty fast but in case you were using that uh, single line uh, file dash f flag use in pi installer uh, i'm sure it won't be it won't start up this fast so this is a alternate approach and a better approach uh, to convert your python scripts to exe files so that's all for this video thank you for watching and hope to see you in uh, in the next one